Hey, it's LSFT here today, and before I start on today's video, I would like to introduce our new Instagram account, at LSFT videos. You can see some daily updates on my Annex 450H+, which may not be shown on any future videos, and you can reach out to me directly via direct messaging on Instagram if you have any questions. And now, let's start with today's video. Wow, Lexus is on a roll. They announced two vehicles in the same week. And I think that's quite rare, right? Well, first thing is, I wasn't planning to make a video on the first vehicle that they teased this week. And it was the first ever TX. You can see on May 9th, 2023, they teased the first ever Lexus TX. And now, out of nowhere, they, actually, they just released on May 11th, the all-new 2024 Lexus GX. Wow, really didn't expect this coming. So let's step back and look at what Akio Toyota announced when they were talking about the new EVs. You remember there were a roll of like SUVs, cars that they put out there that they, that they said that they will be coming before the EVs were going to be coming. Let's go and zoom into that and see did the GX actually get in that list? So, do you recognize this picture? I sure do. And you can see all these beautiful EVs. And then let's go in and have a zoom in and really see what are we looking at. So let's go here and start from the first car. So this one has not been announced yet. Gut feel, it's the Reborn of the CT. Because the shape is a hatchback and it looks similar to today's CT. Now we move over to the second car and if we zoom further in let's have a look and see what it looks like right. So this looks you can see it says hybrid here this looks exactly like the current UX so I'm not sure if we're gonna see drastic changes on the UX based on what we're seeing here right. Then we move over here this definitely looks like the NX. This is exactly what the current generation second generation NX looks like. We move over, this is where we have the spindle body and this is the RX. So they're showing the details here. And now we look over here. This vehicle, I want to show you what the press release shows on the teaser, but you can see here there's a lot of blackout here. This blackout like roof does look like this is going to be the TX. And this peak design, you, you, this, this beak here, it does look like the current uh, Prius. But the design looks quite nice where that signature Nike swoop really goes under the, that little grill area. So probably something related to the new spindle body. But when you look at it, it does look a little bit different. When you look at the RX's spindle body where it actually sticks out. This The TX design is a little bit different in the design language. And then we have another here, it's a sedan. Either this is the new ES that's going to be coming out, we just don't know. But when you look at it, where is the GX? There doesn't seem to be a GX anywhere in this picture. So this comes to a surprise, because we've never thought that the GX will ever get redesigned. And now it's, it's exciting times, where we see the GX is now being reborn. Lexus has been very busy refreshing all the X's. What X? Okay, so the UX, which was the first generation still, that's waiting for a refresh. But in 2022, they refreshed the NX. Then 2023, they refreshed the RX. And then now they're introducing in 2023, the new TX, probably for a 2024 model. And then they have now oh, launched a refresh for the 2024 GX. Like, they're very busy, they're on a roll here, right? And then back in 2022, they also refreshed the LX already. So, only one that's left is really the UX with no news yet. I believe the UX was launched in 2019, so when you really calculate it, it's in the fourth model year. So, 2024 it will be the fifth model year. So, I think soon it will actually get refreshed and I think that they're refreshing more frequently as well. So let's see what will happen with the UX. 
So all right, so let's look at the TX first, okay? So TX is supposedly similar to the Grand Highlander from Toyota, right? And one important thing is this is the replacement of the RXL. So RXL, they came out with a three row, and we know that a lot of the dealerships are asking Lexus to offer a three row vehicle so that they can actually compete with the MDX and all the other three-row SUVs. Because in the new redesigned RX, there is only a two-row. There is no three rows. So TX is the one that will fit into the gap and offer the three-row. And this three-row would be usable even with Eldot sitting in the back. Because when you looked at reviews from the Grand Highlander, you can see that Eldots can actually sit in the back of that Grand Highlander. And I assume that the Lexus TX, it will be very similar. Possibly it may not be as usable, um, depending on the slope of the vehicle. But from the design here, we can easily see that the slope is not something that will slope down as much. And it seems like it would accommodate similar heights of the second row and I think that would be an absolutely winner for Lexus. One thing you can see here is this floating roof it's much thicker than the RX the RX one is actually a lot thinner and this one really does shows the difference between the RX and the TX. One thing that I'll be doing is I'm going to brighten up this picture so we can see a little bit more. Alright so let's brighten this a little bit and see if we actually can see more details. So you can see now I've brightened it up. So you can see here, there is a rear wiper and the rear wiper is actually not hidden under the, the spoiler like the RX, so it'll, it'll be wiping from the bottom. It's unfortunate, some people would say that that's not a good design. They really rather have that wiper hidden. We see that there's a there's a tail, uh, there's an antenna up here. You can see that on the top we have uh, roof rack rails so we can actually put a roof rack up here it seems like I see a little bit here I don't know if this is privacy blinds that you can actually pull up and pull down but again this is really hard to really see any details at this point uh, we, we know that this is going to be the same type of door handles that we have on the NXRX so safe exit assist will be available and also you can see here this does look like we will have a light bar for the TX as well. So this follows a lot of the current language that we have with the current generation Lexus vehicles. All right, so I'm going to put the figure here so that you can actually get a side by side view of what they actually potentially showed. So this part looks, does look very similar. This actually looks a little bit more further down. And I would say in this new teaser, it doesn't look like it curves down as much. It seems a little bit higher, so I think it gives a little bit more headroom. But overall, um, there are some differences in the arch. Um, but again, these are all drawings and the arches could be a little bit different. But it seems like this is more now refined and ready for production. So now let's move over to the GX. All right, now I've moved over to the T's GX. And this is really exciting because we haven't seen a GX redesign for so long. So this is really mysterious. And there's really no leaks as well. This just came out of nowhere. So let's have a look here. One thing that I looked at just up front is the color. I don't know what color this is. This seems to be a brand new color. But another thing is how big this hood is. I don't think I've ever seen in Lexus design language that they would ever have such a big hood. Because I'm looking at, I will put the LX here as well. You can see the LX also has a thicker hood here, but not as pronounced as this GX. I'll move it over a bit. So you can see here, this is really sharp angles, and then it bulges out to the, the well wheels. Versus when you look at the GX, it goes down, go straight down and then the, the the wheel wells right so it seems a bit muscular here it's a little bit different from the design language while I have the LX here as well I'm just looking at the headlights 
the design language is very similar to the LX as well. We have the signature swoop, we have the triple beam, and we also have the marker lights on the side. Below we also have this. So the design seems to be very similar, but this also dips down a bit. So there's definitely more down here that they're hiding from us. We do see here, this probably is the, uh, uh, is the light washer. And one thing that you'll notice is this doesn't seem to be following the new spindle body. It does, the, we still have the spindle grill here, but the grill design is also a little bit different. Another thing to look notice is you can see the angle here. This seems to be a more straight up type of angle. So the car's drag coefficient most likely will be a little bit high. But then when you look at this deep here, this dip seems to be much deeper than the LX as well. The wiper seems to be a little bit high. Um, a lot of Lexus vehicles, the wipers are typically hidden as low as possible to re reduce drag, but this seems to be not the case for the GX. And I did go back to the current GX and the wipers are not as low as well. Even on the LX, the wipers are a little bit higher and not under the hood. But this seems just a little bit different. And you can see here, there's a little black piece here which seems a little bit unique as well. Another thing that you've noticed is they purposely made this car dirty. So it means this is definitely not just a normal SUV. It's not like a crossover like the RX, the NX, which has very light off-roading capabilities. But I think this would be something that we're looking at. It's a total off-roader. And I'm thinking this will be great for people who want off-road and really want the new technology as well because I, I would believe majority of the design will be similar to the current RX NX, even the LX designs. Hopefully we will see that. Um, let's go to the back and see does it follow the current design trends as well. Alright, now over to the back. So there's not a lot of information here, right? You can see that it's dirty again. So meaning off-road, this gives us that there is a light bar, Lexus spelt out, and you can see that this design is definitely unlike the LX and the NX where it seemed like an afterthought. These designs, you can notice in the, probably the TX coming, the RX, the RZ, and now the GX does follow that trend where they have Lexus spelt out, but they don't have a big gap between the light bar and this seems to be a more cohesive design and it's purposely designed from the scratch to have their Lexus name spelt out. One thing to note, again, we have wipers and they're not hidden behind the spoiler and this notch here means that this most likely would be able to open. Well, it's definitely great to see more news about the GX. So I switched over to Lexus European Newsroom and you can see it says June 9th, 2023. So Lexus will unveil the new GX on Friday, June 9th, 2023. So they're saying that the press material for European media will be available on June 9th at 2 a.m. Central European time on the following website. So we know now they have given you some teasers. There may be more teasers coming, but officially June 9th is the date. So hang on tight and we're going to see more information next month. So quickly jumping over to the Lexus Australia website and you see that they also have the first glimpse at the all new G GX. So we do know that the GX will be landing in Australia. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, and share this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that alert button to get notified when new videos are posted. If you'd like to support the channel, you can definitely provide a super thank. I'll see you guys again next time in the next video.